This morning around 820 Boston Road and the Bronx looked normal until a city bus crossed over into the oncoming lane of traffic and then you see what happened. It slammed into the elevated train column, sending its windshield glass flying. Then all of a sudden, I hear a bang. And I, I turned around and I, I walked back and her head was inside the steering wheel. He lives in a building next to the elevated tracks of the two and five trains at West Farm Square and East Tremont Avenue. Also next to the tracks is an automotive audio shop where the surveillance camera is. The crash was the result of a cardiac emergency. You no, know, she's in serious condition. As mentioned, she's with her uh, her family at the hospital. Her sister is also a bus driver. She's part of this transit family. When we found that out, uh, we pulled her off her bus and, and sent her to the hospital. New York City Transit President Richard Davey said the driver suffered cardiac arrest. She'll apparently be okay, officials said, before bringing in a heavy-duty tow to get traffic back open. When the tow truck removed the bus from the column, you got a clear view of the impact. That impact shook up the 12 passengers on board. It's bumps, bruises, neck pain, back pain, nothing critical. It was enough to send two of those passengers to the hospital, according to the FDNY. The slow rate of speed at which the driver struck the column kept the train trestle from being seriously damaged, they said. She had passed her most recent physical six months ago and has a good driving record, according to the MTA. It said it's now most focused on her recovery. James Ford, PIX11 News.